Hi, we're going to write a story with kindergarten students who are also learning English. Writing stories with kindergarten students, second year learning English, or third year, is similar to teaching pre-kindergarten students, except the pre-kindergarten students, watch that video, that one comes before this one. They were just discovering their language ability, possibly for the first time. These kindergarten students are going to be exploring their vocabulary bank, and I'll be trying to move them towards using language that they otherwise wouldn't produce on their own. <clears throat> Okay. Of note, there's only two students in this lesson. Super luxurious for a teacher and students to get that much one-on-one -on -one time. We got 60 minutes on their video on their story. What if you have 15 or 20 students? What I did was and what my what my mentor teacher showed me, I thought it was effective was you try to sit down with with one or two or three students every day so that by the end of the week you got almost all of them if not all of them. Um, once every 10 school days you get almost everyone so you just don't get that time to develop that you'll see in this video. Um, and I got a bell here because just like in the pre-kindergarten video, make it enjoyable to the students. How do you do that? Well, let's just mention one thing you can do. Have it be student-led. So they make choices. And you follow them. There was one little squadron and there is squadron. There was one people to that was the oh, the squirrel's owner. Let's go on the bed, on the on the car. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Piggy bag on your father, and and we are sleeping. No, the, we are. I'm. I'm Daddy squirrel and he. What kind of car is it? This is giant car. You can change to everything. Mm. And you're here. You're here. The baby's scary movie. What happens at the end? And he sleeps okay. one more time. A nap. This is a story about the baby squirrel doing baby things, sleeping and eating. Yeah. And watching TV. Yesterday, what was our story about? Sky squirrel. Okay, a squirrel family. And they were in a car that was a special car. A big. A limousine. Can change to a boat. Change to a boat and it could change to a helicopter, okay? And a submarine. submarine. Alright, that's pretty pretty neat car. And then they went home and then the baby had something to eat, milk and meat. And then they watched TV and the baby went to sleep. Let's try to think of a problem for the story. Should we have the problem when they're in the car or when they get home? Home. Okay, what, what kind of problem? It can be a big problem or a little problem. That would be when they were in the car, they crashed. She likes that idea. Okay. 
So they're going along and then they bump into another car. <coughs> okay, here's my car crash. Hey, the car crash. Okay, how about the big car crash? Because you went to. This is. This, I'm going to call this the little car crash. Because no one got hurt and there was not even a bump on my car and not even a bump on his car. I was driving along in my big van. It was a big green van. Slide, 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 slide. There's a car. Slide, slide. Eee. Boop. Okay, so now you tell the story again with the problem of the crash. This is our limousine. This is our limousine. No, this is our limousine. Yeah. And there's... This, there's you. This is our little car. Our little car and our limousine. And this is another another car. And there was a cheetah. And there's here. Oh, here. Only here, buddy, was out. He got hurt. Yeah. No, only like everything. Yeah. And there was here a little bit too. And they go to the hospital. Where does it hurt? I'll be the doctor. Where does it hurt? My head is oh. broken. Oh my, let's look at that. Yes, it's bleeding. <laughs> Do you have a headache? Yes. Okay, lay down. We'll put some ice on your head. Can we get some hot chocolate and shortening bread for this lady? Some cookies? I'm too boring. Yeah. And then here's... I'll do this doctor too. Hello, what happened to you? My car had bumped in the... Okay, bye. And then they go home. And eat ice cream again. And then watch TV and go to bed. already fell down again. Okay. And they were they were all happy, yay! And they said, they said, okay, think of a speech bubble that they would have, and then we're on we're in front of the museum. Okay, I got in a car wreck because of the ice. Why did they get into a car wreck? They were looking at only the museum and not watching. Then, so in this one they crash, then they get out of the car. How do they feel? Are they... Out. Okay, so they're... What's not out, what they feel... Hurt. Say it? Hurt. So you... And are they crying or are they confused, angry? Very, very super, super disappointed. Okay, that Angry. might be just super, super disappointed. Might be sad and disappointed and angry. Worried. And there Worried. was teacher and here was smooth. Maybe we should have another piece of paper because they crash, they get out of their car and they're all hurt. Then they go to the hospital for three days and yours is a hundred days. Then the last page they go home. You're the cheetah family. Okay, go for it. Which one are you going to do, Dorothy? I'm going to do this one. I'm the cheetah family. Put those in your writing folder for tomorrow.
by Dorothy and Layla. Squirrel and Cheetah's family were going to the museum. So they say, wow and great, yeah. Then they were at a very slippery park. Guess what happened? It was a mess. They were very surprised. The baby. Okay, now put it in the class story folder. All kinds of different stories in here, an archive that the students revisit sometimes. By Carl, it has lots of words. You can read this and look at his picture to see what his story was about. Look at this one, it's by the whole class. It's a very short story. Super. Mac and Lila, Carl and Max. She wasn't there that day. Then Mackin wrote, the baby puppies continued, couldn't find their mommy. Uh-oh. It's about a car crash. You can read it. It's about a car crash with the cheetah family and I think the cat family? I forgot. Here's one of me. I got sick eating a bad coconut. All these will be right here. Okay? And here's a bunch of stories that Max wrote. These are all by Max. Ooh, look at those colors. These are by Lila. You can see what kind of ideas she had for her stories. We ride the subway to go to the apple tree. The subway stops. We go out the subway. Then we walk a little bit. Then we saw our apple tree. We saw our apple tree and surprise. There were apples on the apple tree. We take six apples. Come on, kids. Let's go look at the apple tree. Going to the subway. All aboard. Hmm, it's still small. Let's give it some water. Apple tree. Apples. And then we give two apples to grandmother. Here's one of our earliest stories. You can see how they've grown, starting with this one. Just one speech bubble there. And a speech bubble. Puppies can't find their mom. Um, so they, she, so mom went back to the park to get them. Very, very simple story. Speech bubble, one sentence. Moving on to the four fish by the whole class. We've got some sentences here, which I helped edit in this one. You can see some of the higher achievers are really taken off with it. Another high achiever. Here we've got someone who received quite a bit of support, but there's a evidence that he's thinking in, in English here. Good, highly detailed story there. Let's see, this is another story. This was, I think, our first one that I did with them. Just super simple. Took a little 
took a little while to get them to start giving their own ideas. But if you do it over and over again, you'll end up having them just with endless amounts of ideas. Here's one by Carl. Just idea after idea there. And Max, someone who's been struggling, has come quite a ways just by repeatedly doing it and going through the process. And we have some more here too, but I'll just end it right there. Here's an example of one that I've done with them, beginning and end. That was at the beginning. And then we went to beginning, middle, and end. Something real simple that I did.